What's good Dragon Ball Hero fans out there, it's your boy Rebel here back again with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about episode 22. I'm going to give you guys my review on it. So if you guys haven't subscribed already yet, please do so. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to help out with that, hit that red subscribe button. So let's get right into the video. So basically, in this episode, we really got to find out what food plan really was. But before that, we got to see, you know, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta versus Beerus, the rematch, basically. And it didn't go too well. Beerus gave him the work. Also, Trunks got a little action, but he didn't really do much. Um, well, I wasn't expecting Trunks to really do much. I thought we was going to see a little bit more of the other gods in action with with the um, the Z Fighters. But it was, uh, I was disappointed we didn't get to see that. But hopefully we get to see the Gods of Destruction in action because I really want to see them in action. And I'm hoping that this is the arc that we get to see all of our favorite Gods of Destruction in action. So hopefully they don't let us down with that. And I'm starting to think that these promotional episodes are would have been much better just as a weekly episode at, for eight minutes instead of just waiting for a whole month just to get eight minutes of it. But it is what it is once again. But we got to see Goku in them fight. And after that, you know, Zeno Goku and Zeno Vegeta appeared, which was pretty cool. Um, we got to see the reaction from like the other Z fighters who did not see him. Did not see the Zeno Goku and Zeno Vegeta before, so they was kind of pretty shocked on that, um, which was okay. Um, then after that, we got to see Fu appear and tell us basically his plan, which is to suck out the energy of all the universes to make his own universe, which is cool. It's a nice little idea. Um, Fu could be the best villain that that that's in all of Dragon Ball, to be honest, because I just like the way he takes things he's he's pushing our heroes to the furthest extent including the gods of destructions um this could even include the other gods also you know um Whis and all of that they probably won't get it they probably won't interfere but we don't know how it'll, how far this can go so it's interesting to see how everything is going to play out and the dogi dogi bird appeared once again which he called cute was funny to me i just, <laughs> i'm like hey no way that that bird is cute but this whole episode was okay. I liked it for what it was. Um, we know that these short episodes, if they're going to try to build a story around everything, they're really going to try to rush, rush the whole story to get to the point where we want to get it. But eight minutes is not enough. So the mangas, I'm going to have to start reading the manga chapter to actually get more information of everything that's going on. But as of right now, things is looking pretty good. Um, going into next episode um hopefully we're going to see more of goku and vegeta and zeno goku and vegeta i like to see them team up a lot more that's just more interesting i, I have a video coming out where we i'm going to be talking about zeno goku and zeno uh zeno goku versus our goku which one do you like better i personally like the zeno goku it's just how he is it's just how zeno goku and zeno vegeta are they're personally just much cooler to me but basically that was the whole like episode in like eight minutes uh i want to know what you guys think what do you guys think about vegeta no not vegeta fool's plan on creating his own universe with him creating a, his own universe how would that like affect the hierarchy in the god system will he actually even get to be able to create his own universe because if he does create it will will xeno have the power to destroy it or will all that power just be handed off to Fu? Who can destroy that universe? Like that's that's interesting to see how it will play out if they actually allow that to even get to the point of getting to that. But also, I, like I said, I do want to see the gods of destruction in action, whether it's fighting Fu or anything. I just need to see them in action. They've been around. They've been teased a little bit too much, so. They need to fight. I need to see LaCour. I need to see Jin in action. That's who I've been mainly waiting to see fight. I don't care about the other gods of destruction. It's really, I want to see those two fight. And then we can continue on with whatever they have going on. But let me know what you guys think about the episode. Did you guys like it? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed already yet, please do so. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to help out with that, hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the like button. I'll check you guys later. Peace, YouTube.